Here's your WNEM TV5 news update. Good evening, everyone. I'm Meg McLeod. Here's a quick look at some of our stories tonight. After filing for bankruptcy, seizing operations in March, and dealing with legal battles, the Bay City State Theater is now coming up for sale. The digital marquee on the State Theater says it will soon be listed by Bay City Realtor Frank Janka. At this time, no details have been released on the asking price, when showings will happen, or when it will hit the market. Stay with TV5 on air and online for continuing coverage of the possible sale of the Bay City State Theater. And a warning about a housing scam. The Michigan State Housing Development Authority says it's received reports of someone using the agency's name to promote fake housing voucher programs on Facebook and in person. Michigan Attorney General Dana Nessel says those using the agency's name are trying to steal personal information that could be used for identity theft. The Housing Development Authority says to never give out your personal information to anyone through provided links on these types of pages. And more local news. Take your dad to new heights this Father's Day with a plane ride and a big breakfast. This Sunday is the Valley Aero Club's annual Dawn Patrol Father's Day breakfast at James Clemens Airport. Starting at 7 Sunday morning, Grandpa Tony's will be providing a full spread of eggs, pancakes, sausage, hash browns, and refreshments. Airplane and helicopter rides start at $40 a person, weather permitting. Tickets to the breakfast for those 13 and up are $10 before Friday, 12 after. Kids 5 through 12 are 6 dollars and to get tickets or schedule one of your rides go to the hotlink section on WNM.com. And here's Chris with your first alert forecast. Meg, temperatures tonight not quite as chilly. We should drop into the 50s, but not much further than that. Should be a much more pleasant start to the morning tomorrow. And temperatures tomorrow afternoon should be back in the low to mid 80s. So probably some temperatures tomorrow that many of our summer lovers have been hoping for for quite a while. And there's more of those in the seven day forecast. Friday and Saturday we cool down slightly, but we're right back up to the middle and upper 80s on Sunday. And it looks like going into early Early next week, Monday and Tuesday, will have potential to be near 90. Now we're giving you the first alert to an alert day that's possible Monday and Tuesday for excessive heat. Combining the heat and the humidity could lead to a real feel of 95 to 100 degrees. Now the caveat to that is rain could limit the heat, so we'll need to monitor shower and thunderstorm chances to see if we need to upgrade that to an actual alert day. But we're far enough out that we need to keep uh, our trends in mind as we look towards our shower and thunderstorm chances. Now, your sky tracker shows we do have some showers across Lake Michigan tonight. These are expected to weaken as they move in our direction. So we're not anticipating a ton of rain tonight. Maybe a sprinkle here and there. That should be about it. As we take a look at Thursday, this is Thursday morning at 7 a.m. We have a first alert weather day for Thursday for the possibility of strong storms. As is the case many times, we have to watch what happens during the morning. We'll have a round of rain early in the day. That should clear out, and we should have a chance to sort of recharge the atmosphere a little bit. Now, if those showers linger, that may not be possible, but right now our expectation is they move out just in time. We'll build up some of that energy and we'll likely see a line of showers and storms develop for Thursday afternoon, some of which could be strong. And because of that, we do have a marginal risk of severe weather in place. We'll see if the Storm Prediction Center does any upgrades to this over the next 24 hours as we start to get closer and we get better information. Your forecast for the next seven days shows temperatures next week. Again, we'll be near 90. That follows a pretty nice Father's Day weekend. It will be warm, but mainly dry. It looks like the humidity will ramp up early next week as well. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24-7 for the latest news, weather, and information.